God of the universe, look thou with favor upon these here assembled, and bestow thy guidance upon the members of the governing body in their deliberations. This we ask in thy name. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, everybody, for coming. Everybody, please have a seat. Try to find seats. We have a few open seats. Three people. Mr. Principato. Hello, sir. Okay, in the event of an emergency, all three people have to run out the doors, outside, downstairs, and now we stay away from the building. Any member of the public wishing to speak during the public comment session at the end of the meeting, there is a sheet on the front to sign, so if you're interested in speaking, please sign it now. And uh, cell phones, please, everybody, including the dice, everybody turn your cell phones off. Uh, Mr. Bode, can you please call the roll? Mrs. Ormond. Here. Javik. Here. Brown. He was excused. He called me. He was stuck in traffic getting here. Um, Brooks. Here. Cosby. Here. Sadowski. Here. Strano. Here. Yamakaitis. Mrs. Yamakaitis had a previous commitment when we called this meeting. Okay. Mis Mr. Medina. Uh, he was excused. He told me he couldn't make it today. Hickey. Present. Mr. Alvarez. Here. Uh, we are here for three traffic ordinances only, so let's start on the first reading for 6185. Mr. Bodick, please. An ordinance to amend and supplement Chapter 7, traffic, of an ordinance entitled An Ordinance Adopting and Enacting the Revised General Ordinances of the City of Linden, 1999, passed November 23, 1999, and approved November 24, 1999, and as amended and supplemented. Section 7-33, Handicap Parking Regulations, 7-33.1A, Handicap Parking on Street, Delete 933 Baldwin Avenue, one space. Is there anyone wishing to make a comment? No questions, just comment on this specific ordinance. In that case, may I have a motion, please? Council President, I'd like to make a motion to introduce ordinance number 6185. And ask for a second. Second. Mrs. Ormond? Yes. Javik? Yes. Brooks? Yes. Cosby? Yes. Sadowski? Yes. Strano? Yes. Um, Hickey? Yes. Mr. Alvarez? Yes. The motion is a pass. Uh, Mr. Bodek, can you please read 6186? An ordinance to amend and supplement Chapter 7, traffic of an ordinance entitled An Ordinance Adopting and Enacting the Revised General Ordinances of the City of Linden, 1999, passed November 23, 1999, and approved November 24, 1999, and as amended and supplemented. Delete Section 7-15.7, Residential Overnight Parking Permit in its entirety. Add Section 7-15.7, Residential Overnight night parking permit. Does anybody want to make a comment? No questions. In that case, may I have a motion, please? Council President, I'd like to make a motion to introduce ordinance number 6186 and ask for a second. Second. Mrs. Ormond? Yes. Javik? Yes. Brooks? Yes. Cosby? No. Sadowski? Yes. Strano? Yes. Hickey? Yes. Mr. Alvarez? Yes. Motion is approved. Mr. Bode, can you please read 6187? An ordinance to amend and supplement Chapter 7, traffic of an ordinance entitled An Ordinance Adopting and Enacting the Revised General Ordinances of the City of Linden, 1999, passed November 23, 1999, and approved November 24, 1999, and as amended and supplemented. That traffic, Chapter 7, traffic, Section 7-15, parking by permit only in designated residential areas shall be in the same as hereby amended as follows. Delete Section 7-15.1, parking details in its entirety. Add Section 7-15.1, parking details. Decals, I'm sorry. Does anybody want to make a comment on this ordinance? May I have a motion, please? Council President, I'd like to make a motion to introduce ordinance number 6187 and ask for a second. Second. 
Mrs. Ormond? Yes. Javik? Yes. Brooks? Yes. Cosby? Yes. Sadowski? Yes. Strano? Yes. Hickey? Yes. Mr. Alvarez? Yes. Mr. Boric, can you please read 61-88? An ordinance to amend and supplement Chapter 7, traffic, of an ordinance entitled an ordinance adopting and enacting the revised general ordinances of the City of Linden, 1999, passed November 23, 1999, and approved November 24, 1999, and as amended and supplemented. Section 1, that traffic, Chapter 7, um, Section 7-10, parking prohibited at all times on certain streets shall be amended, and the same is amended as follows. Add um, Lewis Street on the east side from Greer Avenue to Battle Place. Does any have any questions? Uh, sorry, any comments on this ordinance? Yes, ma'am. Whatever it's here, it becomes rule. Okay, because we're here to rebuild some other streets that they that they plan to do that for the streets. Why don't we just try and let them go down those streets? Okay, you can uh, in a few minutes. You can come up and ask that. Okay. Uh, anybody else? May I have a motion to introduce, please? Uh, Council President, I'd like to make a motion to introduce Ordinance Number sixty-one eighty-eight and ask for a second. Second. Mrs. Orman. Yes. Javik? Yes. Brooks? Yes. Cosby? Yes. Sadowski? Yes. Strano? Yes. Hickey? Yes. Mr. Alvarez? Yes. At this time, we're going to go with uh, anybody who wants to speak. So, ma'am, we might as well start with you. You can stay? Okay. All right. That's fine. Are you all right? Uh, Um, just give me, I have to set up, you got uh, five minutes, and I'm supposed to tell you it's nothing political, nothing derogatory, nothing personal, only about the city, which obviously you want to talk about uh, parking problem. Okay, uh, give me one quick minute, I didn't bring my, oh, here we go. I heard that. Stopwatch. Are you ready? You can start. You start. Oh, press the red button. Yeah. Okay, sorry. Um, we came here today. We have a business on West Elizabeth Avenue, AMS Auto Works. Um, apparently, it's been the topic of a lot of meetings and things that were just recently brought to our attention. A couple weeks back, I had an interaction with the mayor's secretary. Um, after the interaction with her, with her sending me some harassing messages, all of a sudden, we had somebody at the building writing us up for summonses. Um, which we have actually coming up the end of this month. And we came into court, pleaded not guilty, are in the process of looking for an attorney to pursue not only that, but without giving too much background, there's a lot of harassment and things going back and forth and people getting involved in things that is neither here nor there right now but shouldn't be happening. We come into the business a couple days ago this week as we're opening up and there is a city worker putting up no parking anytime. Um, metal signs on the utility poles across the street from our business. Uh, excuse me one minute. Uh, mm -hmm. You didn't introduce yourself. I'm sorry. My name is Kelly Vlasic. I'm a resident here in Linden, 30 West Curtis Street, and a partner in AMS Auto Works uh, Auto Body and Repair at 1006 West Elizabeth Avenue. 1006 West Elizabeth. I know that's okay. <laughs> uh, Ms. Vlasic. Okay. So we uh, asked what was going on. The city worker himself said that, we asked when was this put into effect, when did this ruling take place? And he said that all he knows is that he was told directly from the mayor's mouth directly to come and put these signs up. Not only myself, but we called down to the business at the corner to Abigail's to the owners there. And she was trying to make it here, she was two hours away, so we didn't even know that this was going on. We just saw that parking ordinance was, were being spoken about tonight and we figured this might have been lumped in somehow. Never any warning, never any talking to any of the residents, didn't come to see us. There's been parking there since years prior to us having, even having the business there. Not only is it 
important for us to have parking on the street, but it's also important for Abigail's. It brings people from all over. When people come to our shop to have work done, they go down there for lunch. Just because something now became personal and the mayor's secretary and people on the council and the mayor, we've had run-ins where there's disagreements, that's part of government. That's part of governing the city. Nobody is ever gonna agree 100% of the time, but you try to work things out best for the residents, for the businesses, for everything. That's not what's going on right now. So did the mayor just decide to wake up one morning and say, hey, go put these signs up? Where was the meeting for that? We're having a meeting to do this on Lois Avenue, but all of a sudden West Elizabeth Avenue was just deemed no parking anytime. So we would, number one, like to know when that was put into effect, who made that decision. I called the county myself. They weren't aware of anything. And if that's the case, how does the mayor just decide to put up signs wherever he wants to? Okay. Anything else? No, I'm good. Okay. Do you want, I don't know if my partner wants to say anything. No. Yeah. We met once before, right? Yeah, how you been? Yeah. Yeah. Um, before I pass you over, I'm going to pass you over to the city lawyer. Okay. Uh, I can uh, guarantee you this, nothing personal. If you had a bad run with somebody in the city, I apologize. I don't. I, it's not that I think it's a bad run, it's that when I have messages in writing on Facebook that are advising me when I speak up against things that I don't agree with, she had the nerve to tell me that I should do what other people do and I should move out of the city. She's the mayor's secretary. I, For her I, to put that in writing to tell me to move out of the city and then two days later I'm written up on summonses and then a week later, two weeks later we have signs put outside for no parking, that's too much of a coincidence for me. Yeah. Well, I want to apologize for what happened between you and... Yeah, that conversation was recorded. Because there's been so much that now we've gotten to the point where we record these things because if you don't record it, you, you tend to be in a situation where somebody doesn't believe it. And it's just, it, there's just a lot of stuff going on in the city that I've been here since 2003. It's progressively getting worse. It doesn't seem like I'm not saying anything about you personally. This is the first time I've shown up to one of these things. So that could be partly my fault. We're not as involved as maybe somebody says that we should be, but things also need to be done properly, not based on you wake up in the morning, excuse the way I'm gonna say it, but you're pissed off and you don't like that somebody spoke up. Like, we don't live in, in a country where nobody's allowed to speak up. So there's obviously something going on here and, and it needs to be dealt with, whether it be with an attorney for harassment or something. I, I agree with you in one part and uh, first we work for you since you're the taxpayer and everybody that works for City Hall works for you, and they have to treat you differently. And I will speak with the mayor about what was the problem there. I, I will gladly okay. forward you the messages. Um, the thing about uh, the parking, I will pass that to Ms. Antonelli, who is the uh, lawyer, but is, uh, this is the one in front of the, um, the building that's- 1006 West Elizabeth yeah. Avenue, yes, uh, right across the street. Danny. Can you yeah, uh, thank you, Council President. Yeah, I wish the uh, the fire chief was here, but it's my understanding the the basis for the ordinance, which, by the way, is not on for hearing today, but will be on at the next meeting, uh, creating the parking restriction on West Elizabeth Avenue has to do with uh, safety issues with regard to the building that's abandoned there. Uh, it's been a, a constant source of problems for the city. Obviously, we're taking steps to to abate that issue but it's, it's a safety issue, which is the reason why uh, this ordinance uh, came about. Uh, I would be remiss, however, if I didn't say, uh, I can assure you that uh, there's nothing improper going on here. Uh, it was brought to our attention, it was discussed, uh, and that's the reason why the ordinance is before you. You may disagree with that, you may have other thoughts or reasons on that, but uh, I could tell you that that's the basis but that's the reason for the, the ordinance. So signs go up before it's even spoken about at a meeting? Uh, no, the problem here, and this was asked by the chief of the fire department. This is the, this is the old Lacker building, right? That's which, correct. Which uh, it has been under redevelopment and hopefully it will change. But we have had problems and it's according to the chief of uh, the fire department, it's a safety problem. Okay, there, first of all, you guys put up concrete, I don't know what they're called. Jersey curves. Okay. Yeah, the Jersey so curves, they're about I, three I, foot I'm, long. I'm a little confused because you put up these curbs so that we have pictures of this as well. There's no more sidewalk. So there's people that come from these buildings. I actually have pictures of a man with his three children walking up the street in the middle of the street because there's no sidewalk because of these things. 
yet you don't find that as you don't find that as a health hazard to just the people. We've called the city several times. There's refrigerators, there's garbage. If you go over there right now, we could take a road trip. There is bags of pills, syringes, medications, people dump garbage. None of this is ever dealt with. There was people who were running for Board of Education that the mayor was not endorsing. All of their signs were stolen from homes all around and were thrown on the corner of our property. Call it what you want. You can't tell me that the wind took the opponents that the mayor wasn't endorsing all through the city of Linden. Uh, on Ms. Vlasic, President, Ms. Vlasic, I think we're getting off topic. Yes, here. yes, let's listen let's with the Regardless, topic. Yes. So at this particular point in time, there are other issues going on. We should have been notified as just, as, just on the point of there's two very lucrative businesses on that street. And when I speak for businesses, I'm not speaking for just us, I'm speaking for Abigail's as well, that utilize that parking. She, her exact words to me when I told her what was going on was that she'll wind up having to close down. So if any time there's been an issue there, as a matter of fact, when there was a fire there that night, we came there, we did have a couple of cars parked on the street. We asked yes, them if they wanted them moved, and they said, no, they're not in the way. So how are the cars now in the way? How are the cars now an issue? The issue is safety that we believe that building might collapse. And what we're trying to do, now, uh, I really don't know what the problem was here, but I will, you know, I will talk to the lawyer. I will, we'll have to investigate this a little bit more. I, I just honestly find out think that if that's the case, there should have been discussions with the businesses on the block. You should have let people know with ample time that there was going to be a change. Not that it's going to be discussed a couple weeks from now, but signs are already up. You don't do something and then follow up at a meeting weeks later. You follow up at the meeting because just like this, when we, we saw those signs and we thought this was it, we're here to speak on our behalf. Right. So now we would be advised, Abigail's would be advised, I'm sure the people who live on those side streets are going to have an issue because a lot of those are tenants. They don't utilize parking lots. They don't have driveways. They don't have, they park there as well. So you can't just take, and not only that, if you look at the, the it, the way that they laid out the signs, you can't, you have to be there, but. <laughs> I will pass by tonight exists. right after here. Okay. Yeah, so if somebody gets ticketed, how, how, is, how is the ticket enforced? Well, you know something, all I can tell you right now is let me look into this. I will drive by from here and I will. any backing. All right, then we will have to sit down. We, we, we could certainly look into that yes, issue. we will. But, but Council President, I think, I, yeah. I think the lady's time is up. Yeah. I, I haven't been tracking it, but. Okay. Yeah, we will look into it and then we'll get back to you. Okay. Yeah, Diogo Azevedo? Yes. Um, yeah, well, that was what I was saying from over there. That's the part that got me the most. There's no ordinance yet, but yet signs are up. The actual city workers, which they're great, they came over and apologized. He's like, listen, dude. He's like, don't kill the messenger. He's like, he's, he, I mean, the, the order came right from the mayor's mouth. We have to do what we have to do. He's like, I'm just warning you now. Move whatever's here because they're going to start ticketing. And I'm like, this doesn't make any sense. How does this from one minute to the other? Signs get posted up. There's no ordinance. So there's nothing for it. So now an officer comes by, within his right, he's allowed to ticket everything that's there. But yet, it's not a legal ordinance. So how does that make any sense? Uh, let me look into this, okay. I will Count, go look at Council the President, if I may just interrupt. Yes, sir. Uh, I apologize, but I just spoke to the chief. Uh, when uh, a new ordinance or restriction uh, comes into effect, uh, uh, through their system, uh, patrol is notified of it. So uh, it's two separate issues here the sign going up prior to the adoption of the ordinance, but the issue about issuing a summons while it's up uh, would not take place because patrol is not notified of the, the new restriction. Okay. All right, let me look into this, and um, I, will, I, I know where your business is. I, I guess I can get in touch with you. Yeah, okay? I'm there okay. Monday through Saturday. All right, thank you. Thank you. Mr. Principato? Short and sweet, Johnny? Five minutes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Good evening, John Principato, 1706 Westover Road. You probably all know my address by heart. Um, I'm here because I'm looking to, I own a business on 
21st Street and Southwood Avenue. And we have refinery workers who are parking all day on the street in, uh, in the businesses on 21, uh, the east side of 21st Street. And what I'd like is to, if, if, we, if, if it can be done, uh, 15 minute parking in a certain amount of space there. Because what happens is uh, when they do the turnaround at the refinery, they pull in, and, and this year they said they're going to be pulling in another 2,500 employees, and they don't have enough parking within the refinery. So they park on the street. And what they do is they park on 21st Street all the way up Wood Avenue. And I think the refinery was busing a lot of people in, which is fantastic. But we have truckers that stop by that they don't, they, they don't have anywhere to park. And on, t on 21st Street, it gets bad with pulling out onto 21st, onto 21st Street from my parking lot. Uh, when there's cars all parked up and down, and I don't, I don't call traffic when they're parked in the yellow. I really don't care, you know. But I'm just looking for a little more space, and I'm sure the businesses next to me would say the same thing. So I don't know who I need to speak to <coughs> about um, that. Do I have to put a request in? No, you're doing it here, and uh, we'll put it in for you. Right. We have to have the police check it. Right, I just want to make sure that because it's in the. Wood Avenue. East 21st Street. East, right. And Southwood Avenue. And I don't want, I want to make this a public uh, request because of what happened last week with the Seventh Ward Councilman. I don't want to have any uh, animosity. There will be none, sir. Uh, okay, Council President. Uh, hold on. There I, will want, be I want to add Wait, help. You'll get your minute at the end, please, Ralph. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, sir. Anything else? That's it. All right, thank you. At this time, I need to get out of the uh, public comments. Make a motion to end public comment. Yes, please. Second. Second. Mrs. Ormond? Yes. Javik? Yes. Brooks? Uh, he's excused. He went home. Cosby? Yes. Sadowski? Yes. Strano? Yes. Hickey? Yes. Mr. Alvarez? Yes. Uh, Ralph, besides you, who else would like to say something? I would. Lisa? I'll say a word. That's shocking. Okay. Uh, Councilman Strano, why don't we start with you, sir? You've got one minute. Okay. I, I would just like to respond to Mr. Principal's request. Uh, John, I know you cater to the refinery. I've eaten your food there <laughs> at the CAP meetings. And <clears throat> I'm sure you know um, the lowest, you know, um, It's not your diner? Oh, I thought, well, it's an arms, is it a, like an arms link kind of business association or no association whatsoever? Really? Hmm. Well, anyway, uh, the, uh, the, the, the proper procedure would be to reach out to the refinery people. I can do that on your behalf. Um, to um, their, uh, reach out to their contractors to um, see if we can alleviate that problem for you. It, that's well, the problem, John, is that this is a temporary situation. They have outside contractors that are working there, and once the project is done in their turnaround, then the, prop, the parking problem will go away. All right, okay. No, that's it. That's it, thank you. Uh, Ralph, can you reach out to them or we'll talk about it? Thank you, Councilman. Uh, Councilwoman Orman. Uh, yes, good evening, and I want to take a minute. I would just like to say that it's um, 
Nice to meet you, Ms. Vlasic. It's really nice to see that there's a person behind the Facebook oh name. But I truly sympathize with you because I think it's ugly also. Um, and I apologize on behalf of the mayor's office that there were some issues going on with his, his, the secretary. We all should take a lesson that Facebook is just nasty, ugly. And if we can't say something to a person's face or if we just can't be kind, we just probably shouldn't do it at all. But it is a pleasure to finally meet you. Council President, there's please, no back and forth. Please, no response. Members of the public Everybody just say members of council. I stay away from fires. <laughs> I was out of town that day. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Vlasic, please. Yes, but I was out of town that day. All and, right. you know, I do have a life Councilwoman, besides that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. <laughs> Ms. Cosby. I just wanted to remind everyone that the Fifth Ward is going to have a visit from Santa on December the 16th. It's going to be from 11 o'clock until 1 o'clock at the John Street Rec Center. We have prize raffles and we had some donations from the Special Improvement District of Toys and the Roshana Cosby Civic Association, along with some of the other residents um, who are, are supporting this um, event. So I want to thank Santa in advance for his attendance. And as always, I'm looking forward to the event and I hope we have a good turnout this year. The crafts are awesome. We got new ones this year and I'll see you guys there. That would be Saturday, December the 16th at 11 o'clock at the John Street Rec Center. We've been doing this since before I was elected, and it's an annual event. We've been doing it since probably 2007 or 5. Thank you, Councilwoman. My and I hear pleasure. the Santa you have this year is a very good looking one. Yeah, yes. yeah. I just got to uh, get a white form. That's <laughs> Councilwoman Hickey. Good evening. First, I'd like to thank the three of you for attending tonight. and voicing your opinions on different issues. Secondly, um, this past week, we had a pretty amazing night, thanks to Anthony Walrab and many volunteers um, from the Linden Board of Education. I actually showed up with my niece and my son to just go sing Christmas carols with my cold, raspy voice, and then I turned into, I went from councilwoman to an elf to Santa. And I have to tell you, it was the most amazing night that I have had this year, thanks to everybody who was a part of it. Um, you know, it's been pretty hard sitting up on council and seeing and hearing many different things and not being able to control certain issues and things you don't believe in. But when I have a night like I did with Anthony Warab and all the other people that work so hard and the smiles on the children's faces and hugging and kissing me, priceless. So with that, I just want to say thank you, Anthony Rolrab. Outstanding job. Uh, Lyndon was an amazing night this week. Thank you. Thank you, Councilwoman. The following council meetings will be as follows. Council Conference meeting Monday, December 18th, 2017 in the Council Conference Room, City Hall 301 Northwood Avenue. Council Conference meeting prior to the Council meeting, Tuesday, December 19th, 2017 at 6 p.m in the Council Conference Room, City Hall, 301 Northwood Avenue. Council meeting Tuesday, December 19, 2017 at 7 p.m. in the Council Chamber, City Hall, 301 Northwood Avenue. Need a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. Mr. Mrs. Orman? Yes. Javik? Yes. Cosby? Yes. Sadowski? Yes, just want to remind you, I have 23 days left. Hickey? <laughs> yes. Yes. Mr. Alvarez? Oh. Yes, we're adjourned. <laughs> <laughs>